Hey guys, my name is JC Don, and welcome back to some more Danganronpa 2. Good vibe is fair. All right, in the previous episode, um, we discovered the new island, which is the fourth island, which filled with like castles and stuff. Like it's basically Disney World, and we're gonna have to explore uh, the island again. And we're gonna go to the fun house because I don't know for some reason we're gonna go to the fun house. So yeah, let's just uh, skip to this, and there we go, fun now. Alright, that's it. Yeah. Also, I fixed the audio for a bit, now the audio is not too loud. So yeah, what am I supposed to do here again? This is small train, yeah, yeah. Welcome again to the fun house! If you want to, to try to go to the fun house, you gotta assemble everyone here. Huh? Was that impossible? Hajime, does everybody hate you so much that nobody wants to come with you? Uh -oh. Instead of everybody getting crushed and sunder, it looks like you just heart it looks like just it looks like just your heart got crushed asunder. <laughs> Such a venerable sacrifice. Ah <laughs> Dot dot dot. Well then. Stop Nagito. Where are we supposed to find clues about the future foundation and amusement park? Hey. How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile maybe? Okay. There seems to be nothing. Um, what am I supposed to do now? Actually. Roller coaster? Am I supposed to go here? Oh, there they are. Okay. Yo. Hey, everybody here? Want me to tell you? Hey, want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, we all get a treat if we ride that, that roller coaster together. Hey, hey! I'm not riding that thing. Didn't I tell you? I got crazy car sick. <laughs> Rawr! Welcome! What? Welcome to the main attraction of, the use of this amusement, amusement park. The great ultra delicious coaster. Hey, hey! Is it really true that we'll get a prize for riding this? Of course! Sure thing. What's the prize? No way! Oh no, that's a, that's the surprise for after you ride this. This is bad. Hey, do we really, do we really all have to ride this thing? Ride this together? What are you saying? Didn't I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? Shut up, shut no, up. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> now, now, it's gonna be fine. Thrill rides are sweet. I already know. Everyone who likes them always says that. But I already know that they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's a possibility that the prize is gonna be those ship parts, you know? That that might be true, but um, might, might I uh, might I ask where will this ride take us? Nope. It won't take us anywhere. It's just gonna circle around and come back here. Um, Wait, what? Is the meaning behind that? You fiend! Have you never gone to a music park? I am ashamed. I am embarrassed to say that we do not have this in my country. Fine. I see. I've only gone to a music park once during my childhood. Listen well. But it was an amusement park in hell, filled with man eating demons. Huh? huh? There are amusement parks in hell? Bro. I've never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Hey, hey. Don't do it, Miss Anya. That guy has a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance feast the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. That is... Oh, that is a shame. Since my blood cannot be used as the entrance fee. Uh, wait, does that mean Miss Sonya? <laughs> Hey everyone! <laughs> okay, so Miss Sonya's married? Hey everyone, it's just going to be a waste of time if we stand around like this. See? Why don't we just try riding it? Uh, hold on to do something. Alright, I'm back. Continue. Why don't we try why don't we just try riding it? That's hold on. Wrong. Why why do we have to just try riding it? <laughs> Nikomaru, can I leave this to you? Understood. Leave it to me. Hey, 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 Stop hey, it. Hey. Stop it. Please let me go. Oh my god. But despite his des desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuff into the roller coaster. Now then. All aboard the great ultra delicious coaster! With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. Hey! Uh, uh, look at Nikomaru there. With the bolts and the screws. And uh, Hajime like that, just regular. And Sonya like her hair though. Look at Kazuki, uh, like dying from the thing. Hey, look at, <laughs> look at, look at, um, Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko looks sad, kinda, uh. 
Chiari looks very, uh, yeah. Uh, Nagito, yep. Uh, Makane, I don't need to explain. So, Yahoo! <laughs> Poor Kazuchi. Chill. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god. Yes, Alright, we've arrived. How was it? Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go on it one more time. Right. I agree. Once more. No freaking way. Hey, hey. hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Oh yeah, right. Here you go. The treat is a file. File for the future foundation. Yeah, it is because it says their future. The symbol. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. If so, this file must be a file from the future foundation. Will we be able to find out who they are if you look at this? Dot dot dot. Is it alright if I check inside? Sure thing. Do whatever you like. We got around Agnagito as he received the file and stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. Oh wow. Oh my god, that's the first game! That's the pictures of the first game! It's, it's in Japanese though. Hold on, let me try and read this. Um, no, I can't read it, it's too small. Like, the text is too small, but... those That's from the first game, the pictures. Like, that's... Oh uh, my god, the memories. Okay, Hosuya Academy ironically became the site for the killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students at an academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to their limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind who paid with their life. Hey, with this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Uh, Makoro, uh, Asahina, Byakuya. Yeah, Byakuya is in the first game. That's Byakuya right there. You know, the one like next to Toko, the one with this, the glasses, the black haired girl. And Yasuhiro and Kyoko. Okay, with this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Hey, aren't these photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? Oh, they're gonna be shocked. Of Byakuya. Then what does this mean? Why is he in this photo? I looked down at where Nagito was pointing. Huh? He was much thinner, as if he was an entirely different person, but he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tagami. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. What? Oh god, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> oh my god, this is so... So really, I mean, he's trying to dangle around. By the way, this is definitely looks like Biakuya. What is Bia? What? Look at that typo. Look at that Biakuya photo in here. This is. This is. What does this mean? Like, what's this killing school trip that they're talking about? Yep. Looks like the killings were involved in to resemble this set of killings that happened before, and that took place inside Hope's Academy. Hey, Hold on. Did this? Up uh, killings actually happen inside the the post academy? That's, That's not possible. possible. There's no way the teachers or those police would let that happen. Let me However, what if the future foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? You mean our organization was the one who took over all the academy then? Not. That's not possible. How stupid. If Yahweh were still alive, we would have been able to learn details of this. How unfortunate. However. How oh my god. <laughs> Stop that, please. We lost our memories, correct? That should apply to Byakuya as well. Also, Byakuya never said a word about such a past actually existing. Well, actually, yes. um, in the first, remember, like, Byakuya told um, Hajime that, like, in the past something happened, right? Well, he was killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this. Ah, perhaps that's what Byakuya was trying to talk to me about, yeah. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being trusted, distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Was he specifically re referring to this killing school life? Hey. Anyway, as long as Biao is no longer with us, 
we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hoshi Academy relate to this island? Hey, the only um, thing I can say is... It's all the answers true. are in your school memories that were taken away. You? Then give them back. Give those memories back to us. No, 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 no. The Future Foundation took their memories and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Oh, well. Impossible. Regardless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. Uh, this isn't making sense again. How stu how annoying. Whatever, man. Just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Who knows? Oh, who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. However, I have searched this. Island. Oh my god! I have searched this island once through, but I do but I did not find ship parts anywhere. No, the find out should still be left. Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access it unless we're all gathered together. Right? Correct. correct. Ding ding. Correct. That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all inside the funhouse. Then the ship parts should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts, it means all the treats. That, al that also includes our Hoshi Academy student profiles. Which means a clue about my talent should be there too. Dot dot dot. It might be a trap, it might be a trap, but... But, it's like we're already caught in a trap, then... Everyone, let's go. Let's try going to the funhouse. However... Oh my god. I see, is that really alright? The fun house is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no cho other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and learn the secret of Hajime's talent too. Yep. Fine, I think we should listen to Hajime and then over to the fun house as well. <laughs> boop boop boop, looks like you guys have fight blah, 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 decided. I have things to prepare so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm not really on board with this idea, but... If everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I shall Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. Then it's decided. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that future foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries so that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I completely forgot about that. Okay, train. I just need to get on this train, right? No well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. I'm gonna leave you this time. You better be telling the truth. Alright, let's go. Choo choo. As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! I look at Nagato in the background. <laughs> look at Hajime, like what the heck happened to Hajime's hair? Okay. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What the hell? Oh, okay, they were talking, so never mind. Is this gas? This is definitely good. Okay, they're gonna sleep. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our body started to feel soft like mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. Well, I guess our memory's gonna return? Oh my god, we're in... Okay, we're in drug... We're in drug world. Dot dot dot. Need. Ugh. When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Hey, Mecha. Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekomaru standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even easier. Man, I slept good. Oh my! Huh? Where are we? What? what the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm. Hmm, why was I sleeping at a place like this? Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. No, don't! Wrong. Your sister can't do that! I assumed that this was that guy's just doing. Damn it. That guy's we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. 
In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome. Welcome! Welcome to the strawberry house! Welcome strawberry house? Isn't this the fun house? Yep. Of course it's the fun house. Strawberry house is a part of the fun house. A part you say. Now then, allow me to explain already. This is Strawberry House in its entirety. Okay. You are currently at the indoor part located on the third floor. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now the next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for refreshing, refreshing up. And I prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom. The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air... <coughs> Air installation. Don't tell me the class trial. I mean the death happening is gonna happen here. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, and the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor is Strawberry House. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. That's all like BOOM! You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, it's a truly strange enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of the Strawberry Tower is like. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all from me. Any questions? Hell yeah, we have questions obviously. What's this? Really, really, what's your question? Really? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right, That's right I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Hmm? Ah, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. Yeah. An escape game! Escape game? In other words. The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Cozy Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey, There's um... only one way to get out of this closed space building. When the killing begins, I'll let you go guys out when the next killing happens. Yo ho ho, let the escape game begin. Huh? What whoa 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 what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it! We can't get out of here until the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How foolish of me. If only I had erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. I let my guard down and I'm falling asleep. Like why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your own move. Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press a good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? Didn't I just tell you? It puts it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia. Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken from in order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it, it's not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such is the sad future of robotic organisms. Yeah. At any rate, Monokuma sure is stuffed in with a lot of useless functions. Anyway, Mekamaru must have lost consciousness because his bottom was pressed. What a bu what a blunder. You must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again! Hey, hey! For now, why don't we look for the exit? But... Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a close closed space, right? It, it'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? If you were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out of it somewhere. Amazing! Amazing! A hard oh to refuse to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we, map we got. Yeah. Ma but exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right! And Akane, you come with me. Huh? Oh, that's unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be... Huh? Something like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Uh. I don't mind, whatever's fine. Wow. Well, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Bastard! Drop it, bastard! You. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right, then we're going ahead first. With those spotting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia. Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also. However. Sonia already left with Gundam. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Aw, you got dumped. Of course not. 
idiot. I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then. Now then. I, it's time for me to get going too. So... Hey. Chiaki, would you like to go together? No, thank mm -hmm. you. Please no. Please no. Please no. Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? Huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Because I'm just trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's not like that. What do you mean? Well, Call it a punch, but maybe Kazuchi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. What? <laughs> I was just- I was just, I just said what Kazuchi was feeling. I mean... Well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my point if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? But like, that matters, it's not like I don't know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Mikan, the real me. Huh? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the fun house, right? Are you saying I'm rude, you guys here? Why would I do that? Right. It's not that far fetched, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. I really don't want to trust you. Hmm. But I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito is more trustworthy than me. What the hell? <laughs> Damn it! Why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuchi? Mm. Ah, but it's fine, Chiaki. Just it's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. Yay! With that, Kazuchi, Chiaki, and Naito all left together to explore the area. <gasps> I guess we're the left. Oh god! <laughs> Looks like we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like I'm complaining about it. We'll change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value of leftovers. That's when even they find next to with our very own hands. If you do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Okay. Oh, nice. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if this pattern continues, I might start to get sick of them. Hmm, according to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. It looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. If you don't want to buy this soda fountain, I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Yeah. Hey! Huh? I've been found? Yeah? 291. Oh, that would be so amazing if I bought everything with that. Hey, there's some Monokuma... Maybe there's a uh, Mono... A bear here, Monokuma. Maybe Monokuma, there's a Monokuma sticker or somewhere here. Probably hiding. Is there? Okay, I think not. So let's go down. Oh god, the camera angle. Going to map, there should be a guest rooms and the lounge in the single floor. Alright, I should go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, got it. Okay. The heck? Um, is there anything here? No. Okay. Let's go to the crummy, crummy. Hey, go to the lounge. Hmm. So this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax here. I guess for now I should look for things that I might be useful, able to use. The telephone. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is very suspicious. Will I be able to call someone with this? When I walk toward the telephone, I immediately notice it. What is this? Instead of numbered buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. <laughs> ah, sounds like it's connecting to somewhere. But no one's picking up. Ring, 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 banana phone. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning the rituals. A no, a device shouldn't kill if you touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like in any other regular phone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone. I don't, I don't even know where it was connected to. Jeez, what's going on? My four dark davas of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Why, why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. Still too soon to give up. I'll leave that matter Good, I'll leave discussion. this matter. Okay. Alright, I shall try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. Portrait. There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. 
Also the play the black card the black card on this portrait. Hoshi Academy founder, Izuru Kamu Kamakura. Oh so the is that the headmaster? Oh wait no. Founder and the headmaster are different things, so okay. But what a portrait of someone so as important as the founder and Hoshi Academy being a place like this. Also this name. It's so hard to pronounce. What? Izuru what? I think I pronounced it well. No, how was it pronounced yet? Izuru Kamakura. What? What? <laughs> I think I, I think I, I think I watched too much anime. Okay. Clock. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is. But knowing the time is going to help things. Okay. What else? The deluxe room. Let's go check the deluxe rooms. Maybe you know, maybe there's someone there. Robbie Chiaki and the others. I don't know. Hey, why is there lollipops there? Oh, maybe there's some Monokuma sticker here somewhere. Is that it? Nope. Where is it? Um. Mine. No, I'm not the monitor. Um, this thing. Let's see. Uh, surveillance camera. Uh. That's it? Okay. Go to the oh frick. Sorry. Something happened there. Um the locked room. And the other deluxe room. Maybe there's something No uh, nothing here. Okay. okay. How about the standard room? Maybe there's something here. I can't hear voices inside, sounds like someone's in there. In there. What happened to the music? Okay. Hey, there's someone going there. Hey, what do you want to talk about? Well, well, you know. I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. I never know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... <laughs> but when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? Then spit it out. Hey. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? Huh? The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone has sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like... Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. Yeah. Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So. But, but like he said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at this painful appearance right now. <laughs> but you're much better off because at least you're still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. S sorry. Huh? Oh, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. So. But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, so what are you trying to say again? <laughs> I can't left the question so they wouldn't notice me. What? There's a freaking Monokuma there. Seriously? You're not getting picked... For you, could talk to Tenth Altar, but it looks like I can't really understand the conversation. Uh, can I just enter? Ah, uh, okay, fine. Crummy room. Let's see what this looks like. Crummy room. Oh, wow. Um, there's a, like the Tami mats and... This almost looks like a Japanese, like, um... Uh, like room, actually. Okay. What about the other one? You nothing here too. Okay. Then let's go downstairs. Okay. Oh, nice. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Hey. Um, cause it is up. Oh god. Final dead room. What does this mean? This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room? Allow me to explain! Okay. Okay. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life training game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, to challenge the final dead room. Life training game? 
What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. How? Who the hell is going to do that? Uh, Strawberry Hall. Uh, okay. What's that? Hall door. I see there's a strawberry hall. It seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. So recall, strawberry tower is on the other side of this door, right? According to the map, to the map, that's correct. However, this order is all wrong. So it makes more sense to finish investigating the first part before going to the other areas. Okay, you don't need to raise your voice so suddenly. It's bad for my heart. <laughs> it's a sarcasm toward me for having no heart. There's no way I'm gonna let that bring me down. You seriously don't feel down, huh? Oh, hey, Nagito. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of old. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Like I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Um, Chiaki? So you got... Dot dot dot. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No, I was just so... I was... I was, I was, blah, 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 blah. I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Huh? Hmm. Why is that? Mm. Personally, I think... Tangerine... Tang, tangerines... Tangerines... Whatever, are totally fine too, or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. What was that conversation just now? <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> okay, Kazuchi. Huh? What? Is there anything you want to say to me? N no, nothing. Dot dot dot. The boss of the video isn't zero. I do think it's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero, no matter what. I'm sorry, Ajime. Um, let's go to the girls' bathroom. <laughs> I can't go there. Okay, the boys' bathroom. Looks like there's a bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. What are the words my constipation going to be fixed? Ah, oh, so sad. Elevator. Ah, isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building, second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A great image. It's the same as the button, button on the lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? And so, without re really thinking about it, I tried pressing that button, but... It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator isn't usable. Where is it, Ajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Onikuma did mention a life threatening game. It's not even worth playing if, if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now that daughter no, should be at the Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Let's get going already! Oh, sorry if you guys heard that. That was a noise back uh, there. Okay, um, where should we go? Actually? Where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? Hmm. Um, is there anything here that I can check? Let's just go here. I've already went here, so it doesn't open actually. Okay, you know, the one that has open written on it? I wonder what that means. It's funny, it's spelled just like the word open. I... wait, seriously? Anyway, I just have to press this button then. Nekumara raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. And he broke it. Never mind. Hey, is that Osami? So this is strawberry to our monomy. The building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus the ceiling is so high I can't really make it out. Jeez, Jeez more of this bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, it's a strawberry tower, right? Then why why do you see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Um where? This thing? Well I agree. But illustration. There's a picture in the floor, it's Osami's face. <coughs> she has strawberry in her mouth, even this is a strawberry theme, huh? This is probably like Osami's fun house or something. Um Wall. Along the tower floor there appears to be many lights built on the floor illuminating the wall. The lights are all red. I see because of this lights the walls and the interior design of the tower look red. And with the lights you're able to create the signs on the wall. However, because the lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. Or there's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image. Does it match the one on the launch phone and also the one we found near in the first floor elevator? Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? 
Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, th doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of the door? Therefore, must try to confirm it by opening this door. Take a little battle cry. Grab the door now. Tell me with both hands. Attempting to pry the door open, however. Clara, 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 clara. What does this mean? The door now won't budge. Not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, sh it appears to be locked tight. In that case, I shall use my full power. Ooh. With a fierce roar, Nekomaru pulled all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... Eh, not yet. Here it comes. Trouble straight to one million horsepower. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. That would be bad. So, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? Hmm, you have a point. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to the strawberry house and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Leave here. Yep. Strawberry house hallway. Hmm, it's just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Does something happen? What? Oh! Okay. Hey, it's a Monokuma sticker! Oh, never mind. How are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course. That's why there's this thing called the contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey, even hey. though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving moving horizontally is, a, is as is easy as fine. Then this elevator does da, 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 does this elevator go to a different building? Yeah. That's right, to Grape House. Huh? Grape House? Hey, the fun um, house is an enormous building that's made out of other buildings. See well, we can worry about uh, the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going on ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um, and that we must ride that elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? Show some spirit! Just go for it! The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. I mean... But still, you know... <laughs> what? You scared? Oh hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? Huh? Fine, I'll f go. Heh, <laughs> I'm not scared at all. I don't need, I don't have it as bad as Kazuchi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand there and do nothing. All right, let's go. When I press the great button next to the door, it merely opens. We stepped onto the elevator and off we went to Grape House. Oh wow! Well. Dot dot dot. Did you guys hear that? Okay, never mind. Um, that actually looks pretty nice, actually. It's just, it's just like the elevator in the first, like, when we're going to the different, the whatever. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high-performance elevator if, if it's not vibrating all that much. If you guys hear that noise, uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door and make sure. You, must not. you cannot! That is too dangerous. After staying, after staying inside a vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. The grape. Oh my god. Wait, is that Sakura? <laughs> is that Sakura? No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome. Dude, there's Sakura right there in the background. <laughs> There's Sakura, Sakura from the first game. Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first floor. Ahem, aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's a strawberry hole over there. That's, there's a Grape Hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a Grape Tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor. I've prepared five guest rooms. But the main thing I'm gave us is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the, the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my product accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it would be difficult to understand if I just frame it with words. So you should all use your two own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Mm -hmm. That's all from me. Any questions? Like, like I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Dot dot dot. Huh? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is. But it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? 
So I decided to use your stomach as the, as the time limit. What do you mean? Well, simply put, it means kill someone before you stop to that. Oh my god. What the heck? If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you to make your kill as, kill as soon as possible. I'll be, it'll be too late if you get so weak, you have no energy to kill. Hey, hold on. Starve? Damn it! How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Um, was he serious about there being no food? No way, that's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. As soon as she lear learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. Well, we could just like drink the water so we can like you know if do we have food? do we have water actually oh god that noise hold on all right let's continue <clears throat> well being loud here isn't gonna help us so for now we should accept explorer the inside of the building too right after all if you don't give up you're sure to find hope isn't that right Fihiko? Huh? yeah that's right all right now let's get started the same pairing as before is, is fine right Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, this time around I really want to pair up with Miss Sonya. Like... She already left with Gundam. <laughs> mm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Hey. Kazuchi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Then... Now then, where should, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. Hmm, so you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. Alright, let's start with Grape Tower. Show some spirit. I can't scream right now, my voice hurts. Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm, go I'm going to let myself start to death in here. Oh my god, Sakura. Ogre. <laughs> what is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambi ambience at all. Ah, there's a name written on here. Ogre? Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? Uh, no, no, I'm not looking at her panties. Okay. Um. Actually, let's go here. No, no, we can't go there first. We go to the stairs. Oh, what? Let's first charge through Cape Tower. Okay. Fine. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like a strawberry hole, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit. Leave it to me. Nekomai raised his voice and vig vigorously slammed the button more times than needed to. Hmm? It's not opening. Hmm, that's weird. When we were at a strawberry hole, it should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Fine, time for me to break it down. Well, it obviously does shouldn't. Kachunk. Hmm? Did you hear something? And that's when Nekomai started shouting. Yeah. The door opened. But what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is a grape tower. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to strawberry tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <coughs> However, this wall is green. Strawberry strawberry tower strawberry tower's wall is red. Well speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over over there. There's a picture in the floor okay. Ah, uh, this one. On the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. Um, hmm, so on the strawberry side, there's a grape door and on the grape side, a strawberry door. That's even more complicated. However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. It's obvious we're looking at this map since there's no nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. If so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. Hold it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try. I think. What? what did you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuchi? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. So you ran away. <laughs> Yay! All right. Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiyami to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the fun house's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell, want me you? tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each other, each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. 
First, try to remember the first floor is Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left, left hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Now, here comes the main point, with those two buildings. Whoa! Ah, so you were here all along. Oh god. Hey, hey, hey. Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey. You, dis you disappeared so suddenly, I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You... Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone in Nagito. Man. Hmm, huh. Was that annoying for you? Right. Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone and creep like you. This is trouble. I see, so it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Whoa, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Huh? Oh, you all came. Good timing. We didn't have to wait. Ha we didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigation would take more time. Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is I... there's seriously no food all. anywhere. Anywhere. This ain't funny at all. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gandam carries around? <laughs> you imbecile! What are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Asushi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you got in your hands on my four dark tables of destruction, your body will be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the ha hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, the flowers are blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark tables of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue your talk, but oh well, I, I should listen to what everybody has to say. Now then. Is it fine if Gundam, Fuyigo, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> hmm, rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that your fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Kazuchi and you lowly humans. Yeah. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor. A, mo a motor. <laughs> it's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that? That's just a radio controlled toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a uh, I can't take this. Shut up, shut about up. that, you mean the ship part you found was just some radio controlled toy? Loser! We totally got tricked. I never said a single word about the ship being real, stupid, idiot, moron. <laughs> Look at that face. He looks like a titan. Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about a certain profile might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. <sighs> Chiaki. Let's say another Chiaki. What? Uh, fine. Um, Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. Second floor grape house also has guest room similar to the ones in the second floor strawberry house. <laughs> but instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they cover with grape patterns. Also, also like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge too. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in the strawberry house's <laughs> lounge, there's a strawberry button in the phone in grape house's lounge. Now, now I'm just guessing at this point, but. It's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. Sure. So the picture in the button shows where each phone connects to. The picture in the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Okay. Uh, Nagito. Now. Allow me to give you a brief report. So Since I'm the one who made the discovery, it's just as important as I am. No which means it's not that important at all. Hey, just hurry up and say it already. Um. Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what that what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive in the third floor? I actually tried to go there. It was locked. Okay, never mind. Jeez. Like the name suggests it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. Okay. Hold on, hold on, freaking noise again. 
then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there ever actually ah uh, also I found a lost child the Monokuma archive a lost child what huh where did she go a lost what hey, hey don't just hide come on out <laughs> oh <laughs> okay hello so the lost child was you Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you was all that. Uh, it's okay, I won't be depressed, depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. Eh, hey, how sad. It's so sad to get used to it. It seems a little tense. Um, um did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? Yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting cursed and tricked by him. No. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like. Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? Hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? <laughs> I swear it to be food. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then, it, then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the function fun house. Let me ask. The structure of the fun house. Well. Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently and the strawberry tower where we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. The two towers are the same building, you say. I see what makes you think that. See? Their pos their possession. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? Um. But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the door, the elevator, right? And so if we think about it and put those two together, mm. the two towers are the same building and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that R. See that strawberry image of the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? Then in the same way, wouldn't that image of the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond the door with the strawberry image on it. As well as the opposite, the grape door that was at Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning we opened the Grape Hall's, grape hall's door when we came in here. So Meaning depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps. Which means when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we used to come in here. Yep, yep the Grape picture should actually be on here. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that that door from the other side. Hmm, that might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Dot dot dot. Well, Hajime and Nekomaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? What's wrong with that? Well? When you two enter Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you press the button? Huh? See? So, just as I assumed. How, how'd you know? Mm. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to strawberry house for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when I, when suddenly the strawberry hole door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? A door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry hole door wouldn't open. Um, but why? The doors the doors to strawberry tower and grape tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then the reason the strawberry hall door automatically closed in front of you so was it because we opened the grape hall door? Yep. When that happened, the grape hall door didn't open because it was waiting for strawberry hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like, like you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the, ma the most basic problem? The core of the walls in strawberry tower and grape towers are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. You, don't know. you didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined in the wall. But by reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Yes. And then what about the picture, the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Mm -hmm. Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? Yes. But this is a very important problem. So isn't it better if you test it out? Test? For example, we should leave something behind here and we all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? See. Want me to stay then? No, that's impossible. There's no a, there's a sensor preventing that. Huh? huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? <laughs> I'm more surprised you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Mm. 
And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd be at least be something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that like it can even detect your heartbeat and breathing part patterns. Then it'd be completely impossible. It'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey. Robot Nikamari is a heartless robot. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as my human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, the function will come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I seize all function in sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... You need to go that far to test. Today I'm tolerating any robot to do this. Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch. Just switch, just rest again, or my chest alarm goes off. I'm not concerned about being left alone in that state. It is far too dangerous even as an experiment. It is impossible that we might violate the, law, the, 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 the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. Oh no, that is not safe, Chiaki. I'll leave this handbook here and we'll all move over to the solar tower. And if by chance this handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right. Let's try this. No, that is that is not safe. Okay. Let's... Hello. Let's go. Alright. I see. I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It's like the Toad's Wart. Oh wait, never mind. Hey, hey. Toad's Wart? What's she talking about? Mm. It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. Uh. The two towers are connected in the middle. The, dis the distance between them shouldn't be that much. Alright, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. Okay. Oh, I just went past you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just went. I just wanna forget. Okay, <laughs> go to the strawberry tower. Hey, hey. And now press it. Stay Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? I'm a certain corner. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, quick. Who is the Skyline Lamentation Art of the Demon Mouse? Soon the door of destiny shall open. Your hamster is a truly skill. So I see. So your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements. I suspect if the dark lady you have my praise. Amazing. I'm truly amazing. You must have a strong trust and relationship with them. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, Gundam. You're blushing right now. Huh? You didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. This is I thought. It's taking a while to open. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower. They wait for the other door to <coughs> close. And that moment, it allowed stuff on the other side of the door. Uh, yep, it's there. My. My! I mean, ah! Look over there! The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice. When I look where she was pointing, it's there, the handbook! Yep. yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. Huh? If the handbook Chiaki left in Grape Tower is here, then that means <laughs> it seems that we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are, are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry, Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower will be become either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? Then the door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape Houses. Great Paul. This is but trouble. it also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> but anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you, are un you already uncovered a secret like this. Speaking of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull tr through about... Blah, blah, blah. How However, how why, oh. <laughs> why was this building designed so strangely? So There's probably cool. no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monica my needs. Um, who are you again? I'm one of me, why'd you forget about me? That reminds me, whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Sure. Going to my turn o'clock, it's already past 10 o'clock p.m. Oh my. Is it that time already? Damn it. Despite that, why wasn't why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monica. Allow me to answer. Every single day up until now, I've consistently, consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, we've been able to live a normal life. Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Oh well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but... Hey, what are you trying to say? For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. Can't go outside and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. Also, I've been thinking of a little something to face the Monokuma announcement. What's wrong with them? 
Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um, but but bleh. both story strawberry house and grape house have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. <laughs> and it's already past the one p.m. Right? I'm sorry to feel sleepy after hearing that. <laughs> Since we don't have food, it might be better if we pa if we rest and conserve our energy. Kay. For now, let's just decide our room and us assignments. Room assignments. Um, Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm, why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes! Yes, let us do that. Man. That's a bummer, but well, I guess it makes sense. This the two. ladies first. Nine. Now then, can choose which house you would like. Um. Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at, staring at a red room is just going to strain my eyes. Oh. And the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house had guest rooms for a varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. Then we need to decide those next, huh? But there are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Two. That means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun. And the results. <laughs> ah, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. That's right, I totally forgot that Nagita is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided you two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner. <laughs> it's me. I will be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuyuji are next. Man. So I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. Hey, how about you Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonia and I had the deluxe room, of course. And apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms for some reason. Huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's, not like that. it's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a place compared to my home. Um. So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Oh, Hajime. Hey, hey, hey. You can't do that. Oh, Why not? Oh. I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime be the traitor, you know? Um. What are you saying? Lisa. What am I? Huh? Huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Like... Even I don't think he tried to trick us. Yeah, because I'm freaking the person who saved you guys multiple times. <laughs> it seems that you're not the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. <laughs> really? If all people are gonna say that, you're really gonna say that? Right? Hajime, can you use one of our leftover rooms? Thank you. I feel bad about using a standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Now they decided we should turn in for today. Aww, man. It's like it doesn't make any sense. And so all the guys except for me ended up staying this night on the second floor of Strawberry House. And all the girls plus my leftover self stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Jeez, that's what I thought. I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. Uh oh. What is it? So this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House is definitely a good decision. Hmm, what do you mean? Um, you see, Strawberry House is a quad quadrilateral, but Grape House is a hexagonal. <laughs> hexagonal. Hexagon hex hexagonal. That means this place is far more spacious. It's quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure does think about petty stuff. Ah, uh, so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yes. The two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hanjimi, you use the room next to the lounge. Then so the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as I should prepare a place for our room later. I should also include portraits of everyone's faces. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Good night. Then, good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Good day. Now then, I should retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, see you tomorrow. They're extending good nights and everyone went into their rooms. I guess she gets some sleep too. Um, my daddy was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge. But we will go to our room in the next episode. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching me playing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Share this to your friends. Who knows, who knows you'll probably like my channel. And this is JC and I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned my friends.